Hey, Don Copeland here with the uh, DTG G4. And uh, we did a short video last week, I think it was, on printing on long sleeves. And we got some great response to that video. But we also had some questions came in. So we figured the best way to answer them is do another video. So the question is, that's well and good. You can do a long sleeve. How do I do a short sleeve? So what we're going to do is we're going to print this logo on a short sleeve. All right. And I want to show you how we did it. Okay, I'm going to take a similar approach to what we did on the long sleeve. If you saw on the long sleeve, we actually took, and uh, I think, I, in fact, you know what? It happens to be right here. We had, this is a, like a particle board type of material, press board, that we used to do the long sleeve. It held it nice and, and, and still while we were printing and taught. You don't need that much, and you certainly don't need it as rigid when you're doing a short sleeve, because you have a little bit more control over it. So what we've done is we've taken this material, and uh, this is a blue version of it, but we sell a red version of this. This is actually the pad material for the bottom of a heat press, which, number one, guess what we know? This stuff can handle heat, because that's what it does for a living, right? And so we've taken it, and it's about, it was about 90 bucks, $89, and I think we figured out it's about 28 cents a square inch, and you can take this and cut it into the shapes that you need. This is a smaller one that I'll be using in another video later. What I've done is taken out a little bit bigger one, and I've put the sleeve on here and I've centered it up so that this, there's a little seam on the sleeve. You see it's right here. I'll give it a quick press to flatten it out. But if you see that little seam right there, centered that up as well as possible. All right. And so then what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a quick pre-treat on it. Again, I only need to pre-treat a little bit of this. So I'm going to lay it in here. as a, I think as I did in the video last week uh, on this, I laid just a, a scrap shirt down here to catch any overspray. Because we're not doing the full length like we did with the sle long sleeve, I've actually shortened a stroke up on my pre-treatment machine. So it's only going to pre-treat this much. We don't waste a lot of pre-treat. All right, just going to have a little bit of spray over the sides. I'm just leaving the sh rest of the shirt hanging out. Doesn't really matter. Hit the button. Done. And you can see here from the spray line that I know where I'm at on this. I went a little bit past the end of it. And I'm up to here. We're only going to print down here. So we're not going to kill ourselves trying to get that exactly right for positioning, but we also don't want to waste a whole bunch of extra. Put that in, grab my sheet. You could play around with this to uh, adjust this a little bit so you don't have quite as much pressure down, um, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, about done. Now, obviously we're doing one for the video sake here. If I was going to be doing these in a production situation, I would probably cut out at least two, if not four of these pads, and I would have pre-treated three or four sleeves at one time, and then I would have actually have set these on the press like this and done four at one time. So now our press time would, be, for, would have become a quarter, basically 11 or 12 seconds per, as opposed to 45 seconds each. But that's just a, a tip for when you get into production. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to bring it over here onto my press, my print, printer. I'm going to pull this, I'm going to line this with the front so I know where my positioning is. Just take the rest of this shirt and tuck it underneath here. Um, if you're doing a lot of these, you want to make sure. I think that with the weight of this, you're going to find it's drawn down enough, you know, that there's nothing sticking up. But you could also take and uh, mask off the rest of this with like a, uh, a removable clear adhesive vinyl or something like that. Um, you could even lay a cut t-shirt on there and just type it down real quick just to, to give you a little bit more vacuum. But this seemed to work fine when I did it before. I'm going to go ahead and load up I've already sent the artwork over here. Right there is our DTG logo. So we're going to head select that file. It's going to bring it in. And now this hard part. I'm going to let Hannah do this. Hannah, you see the big green button? You see the finger? There we go. You mash that button. Went the wrong way. No, I'm kidding. You notice there what happens is the G4 actually, as it draws it in, it takes the item up until it hits the laser and it draws it down to the right height as it goes in. I believe this print was less than two cents, by the way. Don't fall down. <laughs> Alrighty, so there it's printed. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just pull this out so I can actually get the next shirt ready because this has got a pre-treat on it, it's pretty good. All right, take this, lay it here, and find your... You see here, I'm saying here is if you had multiples of these, you could actually lie multiples in here. 
There we go. Alrighty, there it is. Hot off the press. Your DTD slave logo. A lot of people use this as like a, uh, might be where they put their brand, their brand name or something like that on it. Or it may be something that you're doing for a team where you may put a, a name or a number for player on it. But it shows you it can be done. You want to be smarter uh, about this as you get in. Make sure if you're doing a bunch of them, minimize your press time and maybe doing two to four of them in the press at a time. So that really cuts out the amount of time you're having to press because the whole press is heating up. You might as well use, put as many on there as possible. So there we have it. We're using a bunch of different things from here. We had our DTG G4, our PTM pretreatment machine. We've got the heat press from George Knight. And then we have the heat press lower plat pattern pad uh, that they're red. I think the one we used was blue. Uh, that's 16 inches by 20 inches. Keep one of those around. You can cut up. And it's not just for DTG. All right. You can be doing transfers, anything off of our digital heat effects, um, our heat transfer vinyl. It allows you to lift up the area you're working on and get stuff out of the way. We're going to be doing a video a little bit later where we're doing like with baby onesies, right? We want to lift it up because there's a lot of tucks and folds and stuff on that, buttons and stuff that we don't want to hit. Using those pads allows you to lift that area up and make that the highest point you're printing to. You get the other stuff out of the way with a heat press or out of the print heads uh, way. So they're a great thing to keep around. You know, keep one and, and cut them into logical sizes that you can work with. And then you can lay them in and around things. You know, if you got a placket on a shirt, it allows you to get a placket out of the way as well. Anyway, I'm Don Copeland, printing on sleeves on DTG4.